thank you very much. I really love the film. I'm Steve Clemens with The Atlantic Magazine. Now I've seen the film a couple of times, and I guess my big question is, if Mitsunori had won, how would Japan's story have changed? Um, well, if Mitsunori won, won this uh, battle, and probably his logo, Daichi Daiman Daikichi, uh, could have been uh, sort of very popular among Japanese, and which means the uh, one for all, all for one, and probably rugby would have started in Japan. <laughs> but uh, actually, the, uh, it would have changed the Japanese personality. I mean, most of us Japanese uh, think in, in terms of the Tokugawa years as a way of thinking, what we call the harage. Uh, probably Jason can explain this harage better because he dealt with those Japanese politicians. Reading, the, reading someone's stomach, as they say. Reading someone's heart, and then not uh, you know the too opinionated, and they so try not to show their emotions. But like in the picture, Miss Nari was always maybe one one word too much, and just like me. And then so <laughs> I, I I miss uh, Miss Nari kind of characters of Japanese aspect in the 16th century. Another question. Hello, uh, my name is Lincoln Bloomfield. Congratulations on a magnificent film. Uh, my question is, there were many issues of, of honor, there were issues of class, there were issues of gender. What was it that you wanted to capture about the Japanese psyche and spirit and culture in this film to memorialize? What, what did you want the world to take from your portrayal of Japan hundreds of years ago? Um, well, the, the biggest issue is probably justice versus injustice. And, and you know, Mitsunari so much talked about this justice. And then uh, the, today's uh, the politicians, something we miss is uh, the Mitsunari's sincerity and his uh, straightforwardness of talking about this justice. And at the same time, I wanted to uh, depict, uh, well, for example, the character of uh, uh, Lord Kobayakawa. Uh, he was totally misunderstood by many. And, uh, well, he, the, the, lots of books describe him as just a traitor. But it, it's true that uh, he, uh, the execution of uh, the Sanjo River Banks and not so many people studied from there, but it's pretty accurate, uh, except that uh, the I put uh, that Hatsume's character in there, but it happened that way. And in reality, there's 39 women and children that uh, killed, executed at the Sanjo River Bank on that particular day, and up until the execution, uh, uh, Kobaka Hideaki uh, was supposed to you know, keep them. It's, it's just like he was one of those family members and, and the Kampaku Legion Hidetsu was like his uh, brother and, and you know once uh, uh, Regent Hidetsu was executed uh, Hideaki always thought maybe next on the line to the execution it would be me and so he was afraid of himself and, and then uh, Tokuwa Yes was, was very clever um, and how to deal with uh, Hideaki and so Hideaki was influenced by Yes. Uh, but the truth is that uh, during the Battle of Sekigahara, uh, you know, he kept writing to Yes so many letters that I'm on, the, on your side, I hate Toyota family. And yet, uh, Ieyasu didn't respond to him during the last, uh, uh, last one week toward the, the day of the battle. And so Hideaki was really wondering whether I can trust Ieyasu or not. And then the eve of the battle, and actually uh, Mitsunari came up to the uh, Matsuo mountain and, and you know, talked him into allied with me 
And there, uh, his uh, suffering started on the day of the battle. And so, in a way, um, I think Kakuaka Hideaki was very truthful and, and he was earnest person and, and you know, that's something I wanted to show. Um, also, the, I, uh, I was intrigued uh, the battle of Sekigahara itself as what we call revolutionary period. In Japanese it's called Henkakuki. And historians would say uh, there are three revolutionary periods in Japanese history. That started from year 1600, the battle between uh, Toyotomi led by Ishida versus uh, Tokugawa. And the second of those revolutionary period happened in 1868. It was the Meiji Reform uh, Restoration. And then the third is 1945, the particularly August of 1945, and I happened to direct this, the third of the event as a film called The Emperor in August in 1940, uh, uh, three years ago. And then the, it, it just by coincidence, I, I've been wanting to make this film, six, uh, The Battle of Sekigahara, for probably 25 years. Um, and I, I kept writing all those screenplays from different approach. At one point I used uh, Shimasakon as, as a hero, and then at one point I used the uh, Satsuma troop. And because Satsuma troop, I couldn't show how they escaped from the battlefield, but it's, it's a very interesting story about them. It's, it's just like a great escape. And Satsuma was there for about 1,000 people, and uh, mostly uh, you know, they didn't fight during the actual battle. And once they started retreating, they retreated to the, the dead center of the battlefield, toward the, the uh, Tokugawa Ieyasu. And two weeks later, I mean Satsuma is in the southern tip of Kyushu, uh, all those 1,000 people, only 88 survived. And this is a great story about you know how they escaped from Sekigahara and reached uh, Satsuma, and so one version was you know about the Satsuma. But finally, um, I sort of went back to uh, Mr. Shiba's uh, novel, and as I was getting older, and I started understanding the notion of Ishida Mitsunari, and I was more attracted uh, to missionary characters as the main lead and somebody we should understand the, the, who actually missionary was and I thought it was really important for contemporary Japanese and, and now with those two films uh, in the can and then I was thinking about this uh, 1868 and uh, it's also that the, uh, uh, Mr. Shiba uh, wrote so many books about this uh, 1868 Meiji Restoration uh, from both sides, from Tokuga Shogun's side, I mean loser's side or winning side. And then he happened to write this uh, novel called Moeo Ken, that's sort of direct translation is Burning Sword. Uh, it's about Shisengumi and Hijikata Toshizo and sort of Bagdo Sashin. So next year I'm, I'm going to make this. So this would become the uh, trilogy of this Japanese history's uh, Henkaki revolutionary period or change in times. And, and so maybe I pursue the same kind of theme. You have to understand these people, how they behaved this revolutionary period. period. It started in the Emperor in August, and I properly described, and I was fair and, and to uh, Emperor Hirohito, and, and lots of people started uh, understanding the real Hirohito, who real Hirohito was, and with this 1600, people started understanding who Ishida Mitsunari actually was, and as, as well as uh, Kuyaka Hideaki. And now with the, the, the next one, next year, um, 
the English title would be called uh, Baragaki because it's a simple and also it's you know it's a Japanese way of saying uh, the old saying about hoodlum and, and these uh, band of assassin Shinsengumi kids were actually Baragaki and so um, I'm really interested in those Japanese who uh, went through fought uh, during the, the those uh, revolutionary period, period and how they survived. And one thing, uh, one additional thing is, whenever we see those Japanese uh, Sengoku movies um, the 17th, 16th century or 17th century, always female roles were secondary. And I wanted to expand all the female roles in the film, uh, even though the uh, Hatsume was in the novel, uh, she actually played the heroine, but um, she was a spy, but not well-trained uh, ninja. And, and she just disappears during the Battle of Sekigahara. So I wanted to keep her as a heroine toward the end of the film. And also, Hanano, the wife of Sakon, she was, in reality, she was there at the battlefield of Sekigahara as a doctor. The, and, and that, I wanted to show that on the big screen. So, um, I couldn't do anything about those female characters in the, the Emperor in August, but I did uh, expand the roles for females and probably I would do the same thing for the next uh, uh, of my trilogy. And uh, may I invite uh, Ambassador Sugiyama to answer, to ask a question if you would like?